just slug. That's literally it. And it, it, it blows me away that so many killers will be mad about not winning games, but they don't just slug. Like, literally just don't hook anyone until all four people have been slugged on the ground. Now, what is slugging? This, basically. Exciting, isn't it? Basically, you just, you just run up to a survivor, you punch him in the mouth, boom, they're slugged. And how is this going to win me every single game? All right, let me explain. Get out the calculator. We're doing some big math. So let's say you're playing a normal game of Dead by Daylight and you down someone. You do the little animation of you wiping your weapon and then you pick them up. So that pickup animation is like, what, it's like three seconds long? Then you gotta spend another 10 seconds carrying them to a hook, then another second or so putting them on the hook? That's like a lot of time. And then guess what another survivor has to do just to save them? Spend one second pulling them off the hook. Okay, that's very, very, very time inefficient. You're spending a lot of time putting them on the hook just so they can then be pulled off the hook and then be back in the game just like that. Now here's the Chad Alpha best way to actually do it. You down the person, you knock them down, and then you, you slug them, you don't hook them. You waste zero seconds of your time after downing them, and then a survivor has to run over and then spend even longer picking them up than if they were on a hook. It literally takes them longer to recover them from 95% to 100% than it does to unhook them. Probably. I'm just saying this out of my ass. I could be wrong. That's so much time saved. And not only that, that's assuming that they wait until the person lies on the ground long enough to reach 95% recovery rate. Just try doing it one time. You'll be surprised how much extra pressure you have when you don't hook people. And you might be saying, well, what about things like Unbreakable? Okay. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Even if all four survivors are running a breakable and they pick themselves back up, all you have to do is just down them again. It's simple. And even then, they're wasting a large portion of their time, what, 20 seconds picking themselves up? That's still 20 seconds they're out of the game, and all you have to do is spend three seconds in a cooldown animation after hitting them. Less than three seconds. Regardless, though, it's, it's so easy and simple to do. And even if they have unbreakables, you keep downing them. I'll show you in the future games, but what it like there's no reason to to not slug. Like just just slug them again because then they have to get picked up again, and then they have to have more survivors running over to pick them up. And if everyone's running to pick each other up and heal each other just to go down again, guess what? Resources are being spent and generators aren't getting done. You're going to win. As long as you are physically capable of downing the survivors, you can win by just slugging until the game's over. Now let me show you some games where I actually put this into play. I ran this build without add-ons on Wraith, and I literally just kept downing them. And eventually they couldn't find each other and pick each other up before I downed them all and I just won the game. And like, look at this, early on they are destroying me. I'm losing so much time because they keep blinding me and flashlight burning me, but eventually I down one person, you know, I down another person, I, I start getting those downs, they start picking people back up, and before you know it, I have all the pressure in the world. And then all four people get downed. Easy win. But, you know, once again, I do have, you know, the opportunity to choose the optimal build, even if I didn't use any add-ons. So, let's go with the killer that not only I don't play, but I refuse to actually use the aggressive part of their power at all. So I'm basically playing an M1 killer, and that would be Pig. I refuse to use Piggy's Lunge, and I just play her like a basic 115 move speed killer that can sometimes crouch really slowly. And I'm still able to completely win the game. The only reason the last person had escaped is because Hatch spawned under their feet. And I will say in this Pig game, they are 10 times better than me. The two Nias on this team are so much better than me at this game that if I was playing any other killer, even something like Spirit, I probably would have lost versus these guys by hooking. But just by the fact that I'm refusing to hook and I just keep slugging people over and over again, even though I don't have knockout and they're able to find each other and they're able to repeatedly pick each other back up again and again and again, guess what? They all eventually die. Like I said, except the last person who had spawns right under her feet. 
Um, it is what it is. But still, you can literally have this scenario every single time. You could be an average killer going up against insanely good survivors, and you'll still, still win games versus them consistently by just slugging. And you might be like, well, if it's so good, then why doesn't any other YouTuber slash content creator talk about it? And it's because they, no one else wants you to know this. The other content creators literally don't want you to know that this is the best way to play because it's really, really, really boring to go against. It is already hard enough to get good YouTube videos for content or to have fun on stream when you're playing the game for hours and you have terrible teammates. So imagine if every other killer you went against also just bled people out for four minutes. It would be the worst possible thing that could hop happen to content creators. It would ruin content creation for dead by daylight. Hmm. But even so, it's like, we shouldn't just ignore the elephant in the room. I mean, this is something that is OP and it, it needs to be addressed in some way or another. Now, how would I go about fixing this? Uh, really simple, I'd add a nerf version of Unbreakable base kit. Unbreakable would still exist in the game, it would work the exact same it does now, but when you're recovering, you would recover 95% of your recovery bar, as you normally would in the game, and then after that, you recover a second bar, and then when the second bar is fully recovered, you stand back up. It's that simple. And then there we go, problem solved. And I think that would be good for the game, because the fact that you can literally be downed, and then forced to just lay on the ground, for four minutes until the game ends, until you bleed out, is just one of the worst game designs I've, I've literally ever seen. Like, I don't care about the balance, just objectively, looking at it from a game design point of view, it's stupid. Look, the reason I'm talking about this is because I am so sick and tired of everyone playing nice and friendly in a PvP game. The players of a video game should not be the ones that are forced to play a certain way to make it fun for the other side. Period. It should be on the developers to make the game in such a way where by just playing it naturally, it's fun. And that's just not the case. If we were to all play Dead by Daylight with the sole intention of winning, it would become one of the worst games ever created. And that's on the devs. We should be playing in the most optimal ways to play if we want to win, and then if the developers don't like it, and if all the players don't like it, and player counts drop, then it's on them to fix that. And then we'll have a better game for it. Look, slugging has been in the game for five years now, and it's gotten occasional upgrades and fixes to it, but man, slugging is terrible. It really needs to go, because you can just do stuff like this. So I recommend everyone watching this, please just start slugging every single game you play as killer. Don't hook people until all four people are down. If that means they all bleed out on the ground, so be it. Play in a way that is just as optimal to win as possible. And then when people are getting really tilted, be like, oh, devs should remove it. And then eventually the devs will be forced to address this problem. Guys, just slug. Hashtag just slug.